Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm your teacher for today's lesson, Brian Stewart. We've talked about part one, lesson one in uh, life science where we were talking about the parts of a plant. In lesson two, we are going to talk about the life cycle of a plant. How does a plant grow? It's really amazing. I'm sure you will find that out after this lesson. In this lesson, you will discover the life cycle of a plant. But what do we mean? What do we mean by the life cycle? Cycle is something that goes around and around, like your bicycle, right? You have two, si two wheels on your cycle that go around and around. This is a cycle. When we talk about life cycle, every living thing goes through a cycle from a, a very small baby growing into an adult, dies, and then another uh, organism grows in its place. This is what happens with plants. They have a life cycle. It's the cycle of life. Let's get started into our lesson. Here we see the life cycle, as I've described before. The life cycle is the cycle of life. It's how something grows into an adult and then dies and then comes back and grows again. Life all around us is going through this cycle. We can see examples of babies, we can see examples of, of teenagers, for example, middle part, and we can see examples in the middle part of a life, and then we see uh, examples of things that die. This is all part of the life cycle. It's the series of changes. The series of changes occurring in an animal or plant. Like I said, all life goes through a series of changes in uh, the life cycle. Okay, what we are also going to start off with the very beginning of the life cycle for a plant. What is that? Remember in lesson one we talked about the seed and I said we would talk more about that later. It's very important. Well, that's what we're talking about now. The seed is a very important part of the life cycle. The seed is the small part of a plant. Remember what makes the seed? That's right, fruit. Inside the fruit, we have seeds. So the seed is a small part of a plant from which a new plant may be grown. So the fruit that contains seeds, when we eat it, or the fruit is carried along by something else, like an animal, they open up, the seeds fall out, and then they will grow again. Some, uh, in many cases, of course, human beings will take the seeds and we will uh, put them in the ground to make them grow. A seedling, when we put the seed in the ground, after a while, if we give it uh, good ground or soil and we give it some water, what happens? A very small plant starts to grow. That is called a seedling. You guys, practice. Seedling. Seedling. A seedling is a very young plant, like a baby plant, that comes out from a seed. It's a very small uh, uh, plant that comes out. It's really amazing if you have time and you can watch it, but usually we don't have that kind of time. It takes some time, but if we use a video, a special video technique, and we take a picture once every once in a while, then we put it all together. It's very amazing to watch a seedling grow from a seed. Let's take a look. We have a video. Okay, see here we have many different seeds in the ground. Wow, look at that. They're growing up like little seedlings. So we have the time uh, through this photography, you know, that it's not, it doesn't grow this fast, of course. This video is taken over a long period of time and speed it up so that we can see how these seeds will grow and they will make little seedlings. They will sprout up through the ground. It's really amazing, isn't it? Okay, so what we saw there, uh, like the word that I used, sprout, right? Uh, we're using this word as a verb, right? I said these seeds will sprout up. Right now, we can imagine there's a seed under the ground here, and this seedling is sprouting up through the dirt. So if a plant sprouts, new leaves begin to grow on it. So basically, what's, it, what's happening is this seedling is growing up, and it starts to put out leaves right away. Okay, very quickly, because leaves are a very important part of the plant. Okay, 
Now, it's very important that the seed is protected, right? Uh, if the seed needs to have some kind of shell or coat around it to protect it from the elements, to protect it from insects, for example, a seed coat covers and protects a seed. So you can see it's been taken away here. This part is the seed coat. Normally, it covers the whole seed, but this seed is about to grow. So it looks like it broke off. It's going to start growing now. But if you take a look at the apple, you open up the apple, you've got the small dark brown seeds. That actually, that dark brown coloring is the coat of the seed. And this is a different kind of seed here, but it's the seed coat. It's like you put on a coat to protect yourself. That's the, exactly what this is here, a seed coat. A cone is uh, where some the seeds will grow. Now this is a special kind of cone, right? You see these in the fall and especially in the winter. If you go into the forest, into a pine forest, there are many pine trees around uh, in Korea. If you go into the forest like uh, maybe some of the national parks like Soraksan, Woraksan, Chirisan, right? You can see all of these uh, different cones on the ground and they're lying around. These are pine cones and inside the cone there are little seeds. So a cone that has many seeds is the fruit of the pine tree. So it's strange to think that this is fruit, isn't it? Of course you wouldn't eat that. <laughs> oh, it would be terrible and also it would, it would hurt your mouth. But this is the type of fruit that a pine tree grows. So we don't eat the fruit of a pine tree, right? We eat the fruit of an apple tree or a lemon tree, but we don't eat the fruit of a pine tree. But it's still a kind of fruit. And this is the kind of fruit that a pine tree produces. And like we saw, inside the fruit are seeds. So this is a type of fruit as well. Interesting. An adult. We've talked about the seed, we've talked about the seedling, and after a long time, we have an adult. And of course, a tree takes a very, very long time to grow. Some trees are hundreds of years old, right? If you can imagine that. An adult, an adult means fully grown. So if it's an adult plant, if it's an adult dog, or if it's an adult human being, it means it is fully grown. It's in uh, the final stage of growth. It's fully grown. Now, let's review here. We've talked a little bit about the life cycle, right? We've talked about the seed, we've talked about the seedling, we've talked about fruit that gives more seeds, and we've talked about adult. Let's take a look at this example of a life cycle. Ah, and I like this plant, right? Algi mashi soil, right? Very delicious. Uh, so I like this plant. This is a good example. First, of course, we start here. Let's start here. We can see somebody. Did you know that a strawberry seed looks like that? I didn't know that, but that's very interesting. So, of course, we start with the seed. We put the seed in the ground. You can also say we're planting to plant a seed. Plant, whoops, plant a seed. Oh, there we go, seed. So that's very interesting because we see plant is not only a noun, it's also a verb. We plant a seed. We put it in the ground. What happens after we plant it? Well, what grows next? A seedling grows. A seedling will grow from that seed if we give it some time, water. Uh, and water. After the seedling grows, we have this uh, uh, plant here. What do we call this? We call these growing plants. They are growing. They're getting bigger. They are developing, just like you are growing, okay? But in this case, the plants are growing. What do we have here? We have flowers, oops, among the different strawberries. Strawberry flowers, these strawberry flowers are white and yellow, okay? So they're very beautiful. They're very pretty, and of course, we can see many flowers in the spring. Now, up here, the plants are in their adult stage. These are adult plants, but what do we have here? This, of course, are fruit, and inside the fruit are new seeds. These seeds can be found inside the strawberries, okay? So that's great. So uh, next time you want to have strawberries, you know, 
great. They're very delicious. And remember that you can use those strawberries, you can eat it, or you can use the seeds to plant in the ground and grow new strawberry plants. So that's a very interesting cycle. But this is, of course, all part of the plant life cycle and continual growth. Uh, the plant will grow into an adult, it will give fruit, and from the fruit we get seeds and it repeats again and again. Just like the wheels on your bicycle, it is a cycle. It goes around and around. Okay, let's review here. Let's do a little exercise. We're going to review the words that we've talked about so far in a series of exercises. Okay, so match each word with its definition. What do these words mean? The words are seed coat, seedling, sprout, life cycle, cone, and seed. So let's talk about these words. What do they, how can we define them? How can we explain these words? Number one, the series of changes of a living thing. So remember, I talked about that a lot, right? I compared it to the to the wheel on your bicycle, right, cycle, it is, of course, the series of changes of a living thing. We're talking about a life cycle. Now, talking, you know, it's kind of similar to your bicycle because it goes around and around, but this is life cycle, not bicycle, life. The cycle, the wheel of life, okay? Number two, when new leaves begin to grow. New leaves begin to grow. So. At the very beginning, when the plant is just coming up out of the ground, when new leaves begin to grow, what is it doing? It is sprouting. Remember, sprout is a verb. It's the action. It's the process of the plant just beginning to grow. It is sprouting. Okay. Also, when a plant makes new leaves, you can say it is sprouting leaves. Okay. Number three, the part that covers and protects a seed. Remember when I talked about this? I said it's like you put on something. What do you put on to protect yourself from the cold? You put on a coat. Well, the seed has a coat too. It already has one. It doesn't put it on. It's already got one when it, when it, uh, when it is a seed. And that protects the seed. So the part that covers and protects the seed is called the seed coat. Okay, let's move on. The next one, oops, I already went, I already went too fast, but anyway, that's okay. A young plant growing out of a seed is, of course, a seedling, right? So the very small part of the plant, as it grows, is just coming out of the ground. We call that a seedling, okay? The next question, number five, the small part from which a new plant may be grown. The small part from which a new plant may be grown. What can we see here? we can see, of course, that is the seed. It's a very small part, okay? As we saw, even a big tree, like a pine tree inside the cones, such a small part, and we put it in the ground, and a very, very big pine tree grows out of that. It's amazing, isn't it? From such a small seed, such large trees and plants can grow. Okay, number six, the fruit of a pine tree. It has many seeds. So remember we talked about the fruit of a pine tree? You can't eat it, right? That would be horrible. It, it would taste horrible. And two, it would hurt your mouth, up aisle, right? That would be terrible. But what do we call that? We call that the cone, the pine cone especially. But it's the cone. It has many seeds, the fruit of a pine tree. Okay. Now we're going to talk about a little bit about how seeds travel. We've talked about seeds. Seeds are the very start of the life cycle. They begin the life cycle. But think about it. If the plant grows the tree, uh, uh, the plant grows the seed, and the seed falls down right next to the plant, right? It's going to crowd out. It's going to be too crowded. They're going to grow too close together. So did you know that seeds actually travel? Plants can't travel, right? They stay. They are grown in the ground. They can't move. But the seeds can move. In some cases, seeds move very far distances. They move very far away. How do they travel? There are many different ways that seeds can travel. Some seeds float in the air, right? So you see this is a dandelion, right? And these are the little seeds, and they're very light. And the wind comes by, and they blow. They, they, they take off, and they blow away in the wind. Some trees, of course, have pollen. There are types of seeds. And in the springtime, uh, people get allergies. Achoo! Right? Because the seeds might get into your nose. But these are seeds. These are examples of seeds traveling through the air. 
Sometimes seeds are eaten by animals, and this is where fruit comes into play, right? This is a type of fruit. An animal will come by, it will eat the fruit, and it will eat the seeds too. The seeds will go inside the animal, and this is a little disgusting, I'm sorry, but the bird will fly away to another place, and it will go to the bathroom, and the seed will come out and, you know, it's not a very good environment. Well, actually, it is a good environment for the seed because the seed likes the other stuff that the bird is, is uh, going to the bathroom because it uses that to grow. It uses that as its food. It's a little disgusting to think about, but that's life. That's science. So sometimes seeds are eaten by animals. The animal will go away, go to the bathroom, and the seed will grow from where the animal went to the bathroom. Okay. This is much a cleaner way to travel, floating on water, right? Whew. This seed is very lucky, okay? It's very clean. It will fall into the water, rain will come down, it might go into a stream, and it will float somewhere, and maybe it will stop, maybe the rain, it will get too dry, the water will go away, and the seed will stop, and it will start to grow where it was carried by water. This is a much cleaner way to travel than this way, right? Okay, finally, do you have a dog? Sometimes if you have a dog and he goes, you take that dog for a walk through the forest or through some place where there are a lot of, lot of plants. Well, the poor dog sometimes gets a lot of things stuck to its fur, stick to, to get stuck to things. Also you, if, you have, if you're hiking in the mountains and you go off the trail, try not to go off the trail, but sometimes people will go off the trail, the, the plants will brush against your legs and you get home and you look at your socks and your socks have all these little pieces of the plant in them. Those are seeds that stick to your clothing or to your dog's fur. And of course they will be carried a long ways and then hopefully come off later. So these are four very interesting ways that seeds travel. Just to summarize, they float in air, they get eaten by animals and they get, you know, the bathroom, the animals go to the bathroom, so the seeds will come out in that part. Sometimes seeds will float on the water, and sometimes seeds will stick to things like dog's hair or your socks, okay? And these are all different ways that seeds will travel and uh, uh, plant or grow in another place away from their parents, okay? Okay, let's move on. So let's uh, review here. Let's take a look at these pictures. These are all pictures showing a different stage or a different uh, part of the life cycle. What would be the first part of the life cycle? We can see different pictures here. Here we have seedlings, here we have seeds, here we have an adult tree. Uh, this looks like another, uh, like a growing plant, okay? So what is the first part? Of course we start with the seed and we're talking about pine trees here. So this is the cone, from the cone come the seeds. If the seeds are in the ground, they get traveled, they travel by a lot of different ways. They go to a new location. What happens next, of course, is that they become seedlings. So this is the second stage in our life cycle. Now after the seedlings have some time, they grow a little bit bigger and they become growing plants. A growing plant, okay? Of course, our last stage in the life cycle is the adult tree, the adult pine tree. So, like I said before, it's really amazing when you think about it, out of such a small seed, such a large adult plant will grow. And these are the, the steps or the stages in the life cycle that they will go through in order to become a full adult. Okay, let's move on. Let's go over a little review. We see some different sentences. Let's see if they are true or false. So circle T for true or circle F for false. Our first sentence. A seed grows out from a seedling. Does that sound correct? That sounds like something got switched around, doesn't it? A seed grows out from a seedling? I think the order is mixed up. It should be that the seed is what gives rise to a seedling. So we need to change the order of these two things. We have to say a seedling grows out from a seed. That would be correct. This is incorrect, right? So it's false. Um, 
What we have here, of course, is a seed grows out from a seedling. That's incorrect. A seedling grows out from a seed. Okay, I went too fast here. You already see that it's false, but that's okay. A cone is the brightly colored leaves of a flower. That's false, obviously. As we saw with the pine tree, the pine tree is not brightly colored, right? The pine cone is dark brown, right? And it's not something you would want to eat. It's not something that's very beautiful. Some people might think it's beautiful. They do make decorations from it, but it's not brightly colored. It's a dull color, dull brown. So this is incorrect, as we can see. It's false. So a cone is the brightly colored leaves of a flower? No, the cone is a, the strong, hard shell. It's a fruit of a pine tree that holds the seeds. Let's take a look at number three. A seed coat protects a seed. That sounds reasonable. Remember, we have a coat. When we put on a coat, it protects us from the cold or the wind. So a seed coat will protect a seed. That is true, right? So a seed coat protects a seed. Okay, we've covered a lot of different things here. I think it's time for a short break. Take a rest and we'll be back soon. Hello everybody and welcome back. Let's go over the reading section for the life cycle of a plant. Here we have a short reading passage. Let's go over it together. A plant changes as it grows. So this is our topic sentence, right? This tells us that the reading passage is going to be about the changes, the changes that a plant goes through as it grows. All of these changes make a plant's life cycle. That's what we're talking about, the life cycle of a plant. Each part of the cycle, there is a different change. A plant goes through many stages in its life cycle. So stage, different stages. Different stages, of course, seedling, that's one stage. Growing plant, that's another stage. Adult, that is another stage. And then again, back to seed, of course, another stage. These are all different stages in the life cycle. Do you want to see a really interesting video? We'll see the first stages of a plant's life cycle. Let's take a look. As we can see, somebody's putting the plant in. They're covering it with soil or ground. Pat it away. Now let's see what happens. Wow, look, the earth is moving. It seems like it's by itself. The plant, wow, look at that. It's coming out of the ground. Wow, and it's raising up. Wow, isn't that amazing? That's really cool. And there we have it. There we have our seedling. And look, the first thing that comes up, we have two leaves. Wow, isn't that, that's amazing. That's the very beginning of the life cycle. It's really amazing when you look at life, how it, how it uh, is happening all around us. And this, of course, is the very first stage of a plant's life cycle. So a plant begins life as a seed. We saw the person put the seed into the ground, cover it with the dirt, pat it, maybe put a little love there. Yeah, nice, okay, so that it would grow well. Flowers make fruit that hold seeds. So where do seeds come from, right? Seeds come from the fruit, the inside of the fruit. And these are apple seeds. A seed has a baby plant inside. We saw the baby plant come up out of the ground. Seeds have special seed coats. We can see the seed coats that protect the, uh, the seed, that protect them. Yeah, so seeds have special seed coats to protect them, to protect them from insects, from water, from, uh, from many different things. It holds the seed and, and protects the very delicate part of the plant that's going to grow out of the ground. So, a seed can also come from a cone. It doesn't always have to come from fruit like an apple or looks like a little uh, bean here, a uh, bean sprout. Um, we, uh, I'm sorry, a bean pod or an apple. Remember, a seed can also come from a cone as we saw the pine cone. And of course, that's not fruit. Don't eat that, Ugh, okay? That would be terrible. The seed sprouts and becomes a seedling. 
So we have a couple of key words here again. Sprouts, remember, is a verb. It sprouts. We saw in the video that's a very good example of how the seed sprouts and grows. Sprouts. And becomes a seedling. That is the thing that it becomes. A seedling is a young plant, a baby plant. As it grows up, it becomes taller and thicker. It is a growing plant. And then it becomes an adult plant in the end, right? The seedling grows into an adult plant, like what we have here. When the plant grows up, the plant generates. It creates new seeds. New seeds will begin the new life cycle. So when the plant reaches its adult stage, it will produce fruit. Whether it's an apple, uh, a bean pod, or a pine cone, it will produce some kind of fruit that contains seeds to begin the cycle again. And this, of course, is the life cycle, that it goes around and around. Okay, let's take a look at our reading skill. In this case, we're looking at organization again. In this case, we're taking a look at sequence. Sequence means the order in which things happen. So if you're talking about sequence, you can say first, second, third, and so on. What is the order of the events? What happens first? What happens second? What happens third? And what happens finally or fourth? Okay, so we are talking about sequencing as an organizational style of writing. In this case, we are talking about the life cycle of a plant. What, are, what is the sequence? What are the stages? First of all, we have our different stages here, and we have blanks. We need to fill these blanks with these words here. What are the words? Seedling, sprouts, seeds cones, adult, and seedling. So we need to put these words in the blanks in the proper sequencing order or proper stage. Let's look at the first stage, the first stage. Fruit or beep hold seeds. We talked about this a little bit. I joked about this. You don't want to eat one, right? It tastes horrible and it will also hurt your mouth. Fruit or what? Well, probably cones hold seeds. Not probably for sure. Fruit or cones hold seeds. But really, the cone is like the fruit of a pine tree, but we wouldn't eat it. So it's not fruit you can eat. It's a pine cone. Fruit or cones hold seeds. In the second stage, a seed beep and becomes a or an beep. <laughs> right? A or an because it could start with a vowel. If it starts with a vowel, uh, like this one, it needs to have an. Let's take a look. A seed what? What does a seed do? Which one of these words is a verb? Seedling is a noun. Sprouts. Sprouts is a verb. That could fit there. Seeds is a noun. Cones is a noun. Adult is a noun. Seedling is a noun. The only word that really fits is sprouts, and it's correct, too. A seed sprouts. A seed sprouts. It starts to grow. A seed sprouts and becomes what? It becomes a seedling, okay? So a seed sprouts and becomes a seedling. We don't need N, right? Just a seedling. Okay, that's the second stage. In the third stage, we can see a what grows into a what plant, okay? Actually, we need an adjective here, but we'll get to that in a second. First of all, what grows into? that. A seedling, we use this word again, a seedling because we're continuing the stage. It becomes a seedling, then a seedling grows into a what type of plant? Which, verb, uh, which word here is also an adjective? Adult, before I said, is a noun. An adult, he is an adult, that's a noun. But we can also use adult as an adjective, can't we? It is an adult plant. It is an adult human being. So we can also use this word as an adjective here, grows into an adult plant. Okay? So we have a seedling grows into an adult plant. That's the third stage. What's the fourth stage? And the fourth stage is returning back to the beginning of the life cycle. 
new beep, begin a new life cycle. So the adult will make fruit that holds seeds, and these seeds begin a new life cycle. So if we take a look at this, this is the sequence. These are the different stages of a life cycle. It starts here, goes to the second, third stage, final stage, and actually goes back and starts again. Okay, let's go over some reading comprehension questions. How well do you remember the information in the reading? Here we have uh, uh, several sentences that we're going to go over. Either we're going to answer the question or we're going to fill in the blank inside the sentence. So number one is a question. What do fruit and cones hold? What is inside the fruit or the cones? You probably remember this. A, seeds, B, flowers, or C, seedlings. Well, if you guessed seeds, you are correct because inside the fruit or inside the cones, we can find seeds. We don't find, you know, what do uh, flowers are inside fruit and cones? That's not correct. Uh, seedlings are inside fruit and cones? No, that's not correct either. It's the seed. The seed is put in the ground and then the seedling grows. But the fruit and cones do not hold seedlings. They hold seeds. Okay, let's go over question number two. Fill in the blank. Seeds have beep that protect them. Think about that. Okay, we talked about that a lot, right? What do you have that protects you? It's a coat, right? So we have A, baby plants, B, seed coats, C, young plants. Of course, our answer is here. I talked about coats, right? Seeds have seed coats that protect them. Seeds have baby plants that protect them? That doesn't make sense. Seeds have young plants that protect them? No, that doesn't make sense either. We saw the picture before of a seed with a coat around it, and that is what protects them. So seeds have seed coats, just like you have a coat that you put on sometimes to protect you. Okay, let's move on. Uh, question number three. A seedling is a young plant that grows, A, out of a tree to become a seed. Sounds strange. B, but cannot become an adult plant. Hmm. C, and becomes thicker and taller. So which one of these fits here? Well, I said a seedling is a young plant that grows out of a tree to become a seed. That's all mixed up, isn't it? A is not the correct answer. That's kind of silly, isn't it? That, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Number, uh, letter B. A seedling is a young plant that grows but cannot become an adult plant? A seedling can't become an adult plant? Why not? We saw in the life cycle that it grows into an adult. So that is incorrect, right? Really, our only choice left. A seedling is a young plant that grows and becomes thicker and taller. That's true. Because as we saw, the seedling is very small, very delicate. But as we see after time, it becomes a growing plant. Finally, it becomes an adult. It's in a case of a pine tree, it's very tall and very thick. So C is our correct answer, right? A seedling is a young plant that grows and becomes thicker and taller. And of course, all plants do this. All animals do this too. You and I have done that. Me, maybe a little too thick. But anyway, okay, number four. A plant goes through many changes as it grows. And this is called its life cycle, A. B, and it begins life as an adult. C, changing from an adult into a seedling. Okay, so which sentence makes sense? Which sentence is true? A plant goes through many changes as it grows. And this, this, what does this refer back to? This refers back to many changes. Okay. And this, these many changes, is called its life cycle. So the many changes, that is called the life cycle. And actually, that's true. That is our answer right there. Okay. So we can see, and this is called its life cycle. B, and it begins life as an adult. That's crazy. Nothing begins life as an adult. An adult, as we saw, was the final stage, the last stage in the life cycle right? C, changing from an adult into a seedling, it changes from an adult into a seedling. 
that doesn't make sense either. So A is our correct choice. And remember, this refers back to many changes. Those many changes are called the life cycle. The many changes, we can also say the many, oops, we can also say the many stages. Because as we saw before, the life cycle has many stages, first, second, third, and fourth. There are many stages in the life cycle. Okay. So we've talked about the life cycle of a plant. It's really amazing, isn't it? When we think about it, this is the cycle of life. All living things go through this life cycle. Things start off, uh, well, plants start off as a seed. Where do the seeds come from? They come from fruit. The seed will turn into a seedling as we plant it. The seedling will become a growing plant and the growing plant will become an adult. The adult will create or grow fruit and start the life cycle all over again. So it's really amazing when you think about it. Well, I hope you've learned a lot in this lesson. We'll take care, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.